When you want users to move seamlessly between Salesforce orgs and applications without logging in repeatedly, you set up single sign-on SSO. Security Assertion Markup Language SAML, is a protocol that makes it happen. SAML is an open standard used for authentication. Based upon the XML format, web applications use SAML to transfer authentication data between two parties the Identity Provider IDP and the Service Provider SP. There are two types of flows. In a Service Provider initiated flow, the Service Provider begins the login process with the SAML request to the Identity Provider. In an Identity Provider initiated login flow, a SAML request is unnecessary because the Identity Provider starts the flow with the SAML response. The user tries to access Salesforce. Salesforce recognizes the SSO request and generates the SAML request. Salesforce redirects the SAML request back to the browser. The browser redirects the SAML request to the external identity provider. The identity provider verifies the user's identity and packages the SAML assertion containing the user authentication. The identity provider sends the SAML assertion to the browser. The browser redirects the assertion to Salesforce. Salesforce verifies the assertion. The user is now signed in and can access the Salesforce. An identity provider initiated flow is a shortened version of a service provider initiated flow. The identity provider initiates login by sending a cryptographically signed SAML response to the service provider. The SAML response contains a SAML assertion that tells the service provider who the user is. I will use the page from Salesforce Docs under the heading Configure SAML SSO between Salesforce or, or Experience Cloud Sites to create identity provider and service provider with two orgs. Mindful Fox will be the identity provider and Creative Panda will be the service provider. Step 1. Configure an Orco site as an identity provider. From setup in the quick find box, enter identity provider. Select a certificate that the identity provider and service provider can use to trust each other. Salesforce automatically creates a self-signed certificate when you enable your work as an identity provider. To create your own certificate, select Create a new certificate. Save your certificate. On the Identity Provider page, click Download Certificate. Use it when you set up your Salesforce provider. Get SAML metadata to share with Service Provider. Use this metadata when you configure SAML settings in the Service Provider. Click Download Metadata to get the metadata in an XML file. Step 2. Set up your Salesforce Service Provider. From Setup in the Quick Find box, enter Single Sign-On Settings. Click Edit. To see SAML SSO settings, select SAML Enabled. Save the change. Under SAML Single Sign-On Settings, click the appropriate button to create a configuration. If you downloaded an XML metadata file from the Identity Provider, click New from Metadata File. Upload the metadata file that you saved and click Create. The metadata options fill in the required SAML settings, including the issuer, entity ID and identity provider login URL fields. For identity provider certificate, upload the certificate you downloaded earlier from the identity provider. For SAML identity type, 
Select Assertion Contain the Federation ID from the user object. Save your settings. Then from the single sign-on settings page, copy and save the identity ID. You share this value with the identity provider when you create a connected app. From the same page, get the SAML login endpoint to share with the identity provider. To configure your org as a service provider, copy the login URL under your organization. Step 3. In the service provider, add the identity provider as an authentication service. From setup in the quick find box, enter my domain. Under authentication configuration, click edit. Select the authentication service for your identity provider. The authentication configuration page displays available authentication services. Step 4. Integrate service providers as the connected apps. To define the service provider to the identity provider, create a connected app in the identity provider. In the identity provider from setup in the quick find box, enter app manager. Click new connected app. Complete the connected app's basic information. Under the app settings, select enable SAML. Remember the identity ID and login URL values that you saved when you configured the service provider. You need them now to complete the connected app settings. For identity ID, paste the identity ID from the service provider. For the ACS URL, paste the login URL for the Oracle site. For subject type, select Federation ID. Save the settings. To give your users access to this service provider, click Manage on the connected app page. Select Manage Profiles or Manage Permission Sets and add the profile or permission sets you want to access the service provider. Each service provider needs its own connected app in the identity provider. I will check Administrator because I have two similar users with this profile in both orgs. Step 5. Test the SSO connection. The help guide tells us to create two test users in both orgs. I won't do that to save time. I have two similar admins in both orgs, so I will just add the same federation ID to each of them. In the identity provider from setup in the quick find box, enter users. Under single sign-on information, enter the unique federation ID. The federation ID can be any value. In the service provider, I do the same. To bind the users together, use the same federation ID that you entered in the identity provider. Let's sign out and sign in again. To fix logout issue, we should add logout URL to the connected app under Identity Provider. 
get it in the single sign-on settings of the service provider. That's it.